Before we continue with the video, if you like what I'm doing here on this channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Welcome back to my RPG series. In this episode, we will start looking at our first feature for our character, which is going to be gameplay tags and the way we will be storing it, which will be a blueprint component, uh, which will contain these uh, tags. So to describe essentially what the purpose of this is, the, the gameplay tag blueprint component that we will be creating will be sort of our properties of our character. It will be where we can sort of inform what kind of a state our character is in different ways. So if, for example, someone was to put a burning debuff on us, we could put a, a tag on our character saying that we're currently burning. If our character is currently doing an ability that's considered an attack, we can put it in a state that says it's attacking. If our character gets killed, we can put it in a state that we call dead and things like that. And the reason we do this will become more apparent later on we go along. But for now, we can just say that uh, this will allow us to have a flexible system for us to check different conditions for other pieces of code to react to essentially. So we'll, we'll talk more about it as we go along here. So if we start off with uh, creating a folder in our RPG folder, we'll call this gameplay tags. Going in there, we will create a blueprint class and we will choose to make it of the actor component type. So we'll call this a BPC for a blueprint component and we'll call it gameplay tags. There might be a better name for this. My naming conventions isn't always 100%, but it's clear enough what it is actually supposed to be doing. So we'll open this one up and we'll dock it up here to make sure that it's always going to get docked like that. We'll go to our editor preferences and say that instead of asset editor open location default, we'll have it in our main window. Close it down. That means it will always dock up here when we open something up and to show that we can actually do that right now. So you see that it opens up over here. We also want to click on our character and choose him and have him opened as well here. And we can actually already say that we want to add our BPC gameplay tags component, like so. So this is something that he will be making use of later on. So going to our tag, we can open full blueprint editor over here. We'll remove the tick. And what we want to have this do is keep track of our properties. And how do we do that? We use gameplay tags. And you can either have a tag or you can have a collection of tags. A collection of tags is handled with something called a container and we'll make one of those variables here. So we create a variable we call active tags. This will be the tags that are currently existing on our character. We'll change the type and type in gameplay tag. And you see that we have a container type. We choose that. We compile and save and you can see that we have uh, the ability to add tags over here now. So that's good. In addition to that, we also want to make this public like so, uh, because it's easy for us to to check our character if we want to debug or something like that, uh, if we play around with it. So uh, at least for debugging purposes, we want to have it exposed like this for now. So step one of this would of course be how do we make this container contain tags or have tags removed? So let's create some functions for that. So going here to functions, we create a new function, we'll call this add tag. In here we will say that we want to have a specific tag added so we'll click new uh, parameter here for input. We choose gameplay tag and not the container this time we want to have the tag. We'll name this uh, tag to add so we explicitly know what's happening here. Now in addition to this we may also want to know who added this tag to us. So we will actually already start creating a support structure. 
we'll go out to our folder and this we will actually let's create this in the rpg root for now and we'll want to right click and we want to create a under blueprints we want to have a structure we call this s underscore origin again the, the naming might not be the best but essentially what we want to know is who added this tag and we want to know two things we want to know if an actor did it we want to know which actor it was so we'll just choose to name this variable an actor and if it was not an actor or in addition to wanting to know what actor it is we may want to know which controller caused it to add the the tag so that's why we will be adding a controller we will not be adding a player controller or an ai controller we will be taking the parent class controller so we can have both player and ai controllers as uh, this reference and as a name we will choose to have controller like so so now we have the ability to send information about what an origin of something is we will add this to our tag and say we want to have an s origin this structure now added we can actually name origin like so okay so first step here what do we want to do we want to add the tag okay we have our container active tags we drag out from it and we say add gameplay tag and we get presented with this and we know which tag we want to add it is this tag so this is more or less all the functionality we need in here for now so we will be coming back to this later as we expand upon this but for now we can add a return to make sure that we're done with this uh, function the origin we will be coming back to sh shortly after but we will not be having use for it for now but it's good to have it here now that we have done our add a tag we want to also have the ability to remove a tag so what we'll do is we'll right click on our add tag function and we'll duplicate it and instead of add tag we will call it remove tag we'll change the input from tag to add to tag to remove like so and again we now want to remove this tag so we'll type in remove gameplay tag and we'll remove this other function call and we'll add our tag to remove there and we'll return our function from here so now we have very basically put up the ability to add tags and remove tags to our active tags so we have the basic functionality of just interacting essentially with our blueprint components there may also be a need for someone to actually want to know what kind of active tags we currently have so it might be good for us to add a function to allow this so we create a function and say get active tag container and we want we know we want to return this container that we currently have over here so we'll just drag out the return now that we have the return out we can just drag from our variable over here and it will immediately create a output for us we will change the name to be tag container we will also make sure to spell it correctly like so so let us test out this very simple functionality a little bit quickly just to see that it works so going back to our character we'll move our cursor somewhere where we have some space we'll type in keyboard and one which allows us to react to the one key on the keyboard and we'll also type in keyboard two and what we do with when we hit the first key is we take our gameplay tags we drag out and we say add tag and we now want to add a tag here we don't have a tag added currently because we haven't created any so we'll go to our example map and go to edit and project settings up in the top left we have a gameplay tags category 
Over here, you can see different ways of adding gameplay tags. We won't be going into too much detail about this. I have a tutorial on gameplay tags if you want to delve deeper into it. So feel free to check that out if you want to. But for now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a tag which we call state.dead, meaning it gets a state grouping and then dead under that. So we have a state which is called dead essentially. And closing down the project settings, and saving everything, we now go into our character and we choose to add the tag that says state dead. We can now go to our two key and say gameplay tags, and we can get our active tag container, for example, to make sure that that works also, like so. And from this, we can also drag out and we can say has tag and we can say we want to compare against something. We'll drag, press on B to make a branch. We'll connect it up here, and then out from here, we'll just right click and do print, and then copy that. Drag one to true and one to false, and say no tag in the false, and we say tag found in the top one. And if we say we want to have a dead tag in here, we should, if we have run this first, have a dead tag, which will tell the console to print out tag found. So let's start off with typing two to begin with and see if it says that it doesn't find a tag. We see that it says no tag. We press one, which should have added the dead state tag. Now we press two and the tag is found. So a very basic test and this seems to be functioning for us currently. So I think that's a good place to stop for now. I hope to see you in the next episode. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.